Hello YouTube friends, Sage here, back again with another installment. So basically I got this new coil shock. It's a 2019 Fox DHX2. Once I put the coil on, the bike was so much better that now everything else is severely holding me back. So I needed to do a revamp of everything that affects how the bike touches the ground. So that includes new tires. I got a full set of Michelin Wild Enduros. Super duper knobby, super nice tires. I'm also going to be upgrading to a new damper. We're going from the old crappy 2017 Yari damper to a new RCT 2.1 damper. And not only that, I figured, well, I'm taking off the wheels and taking off the fork to service it. I might as well take off everything, clean the whole bike and repaint it as well, just to make my bike run and look like an absolute new machine. I'm thinking we just are gonna employ some magic here, so let me just warm up. God. It's been a while, it's been a while. Well, that didn't. There's a, it's a thing in the way. Thing right here, do this little number. That's weird. They switched. All right, so wheels and tires are done. So next up, I gotta take off the front fork, take off all the stuff in the cockpit so that I can isolate the front fork and put on the new air spring and damper. All right, so everything's pretty much torn down. Just gotta take off the rear shock. All right, so the frame's pretty much all torn down, but I'm missing an eight mil Allen key. So I can't take off the bottom bracket and I can't take off the last pivot. So while I'm waiting for the hardware store to open so I can get a new Allen key, right now I'm gonna just dive into the shock and see what I can do. All right, so the old damper's out and here's the 2.1 damper. That's just gonna slide in here. And there's the old air spring. I have the new air spring right here. So we're just gonna Swap them and we'll be good to go. I'm not gonna film this process just cause it's really easy to find online and I'm not gonna have enough time in the day to just finish everything else, which I will film. So the final thing we gotta take off is the bottom bracket. might be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> All right, well, it turns out that sandblasting paint, especially enamel paint, takes forever. We're looking at this thing for like an hour now. Really even done. I still got the rest of the freaking frame to do. So, <clears throat> thinking I'm just gonna go back to the classics. Using one of these Nature Valley bars right now. Basically, 
basically, long story short, sandblasting didn't work, so I just went back to the old scotch bright and soapy water technique to finish it off. All right, so once I had roughed everything up, I laid out all the parts here so I could just see what my whole bike looks like, completely disassembled. At this point, it was getting super late. It was like 12. I just took the parts that I needed to paint out and painted them without filming. Just envision what painting a bike looks like. I'm sure you've seen it before. Anyway, this is what it looked like. I chose Anthracite Gray, inspired by Gingium's RX-7. And as you can see, the paint turned out really good. Uh, I didn't expect it to be as shiny as it is. So keep an eye out for part two. It's gonna be uploaded Thursday. You don't have to wait a whole week for another video. And if you like the beat, it's by my friend Skylar. You can find him on SoundCloud. His handle is Skamcha. I'll leave a link in the description.